We're now in early fall in Oklahoma, and it's a great time to think about the monarch migration, which will be arriving in late September and also proceed through mid-October. Even though there may be some local monarchs that overseasoned here and continue to reproduce in Oklahoma, those have already started their migration south, as well as some continuing in egg and larval stages. But the bulk of the population will be arriving soon uh, on fronts coming down from northern states. It's important for us as horticulturalists and interested parties to try to maintain nectaring sources for these migrants as they come through. Here we see zinnias, very easy to grow in the landscape. They are looking a bit beaten down from the summer, but they still offer a, offer a nectaring source for monarchs at this time of year. So if you've got naturalized areas, it's important not to mow those down now, if at all possible. We do know that people like to be fire-wise also, but it's good to put off the mowing of natural areas until after a few frosts in order to provide nectaring habitat for monarchs. I would like to review the life cycle. So the uh, fourth or fifth generation will be coming through at this point in time. Uh, that fourth or fifth generation will overwinter in Mexico and then also will fly north in the spring into Texas and Oklahoma in approximately late March to early to mid uh, April and then also egg laying in the area. Subsequent generations will um, fly north and then also if there's enough moisture and milkweed habitat in Oklahoma they will lay eggs and a portion of the population will continue uh, with their regeneration here in Oklahoma through the course of the year. But the majority of the population that migrates to Mexico will go to the northern states to complete subsequent generations there and return uh, in the fall through Oklahoma. So one of the things that's very important to recognize is our role in providing uh, early fall through mid-fall nectaring habitat for monarchs. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.